All right, everyone, here we go. The week of October 27th through November 2nd, 2024. What actions are they likely to take? It comes off the Friday reading. And I laughed my ass off when I did this pre-shuffle because I just got done the other day talking. I, I told one of the positions in the Friday reading about the Eight of Wands and how it's tarot, channel, gold, everybody. Woohoo! I hope that's the thumbnail. Woohoo! You know, yeah. Here's your pre-shuffle. It opens with Eight Wands. I know. Motherfucker. All right, let's talk about the pre-shuffle, and then we'll get rolling. I got a shuffle for our reading. Thank God. I'm sure that I'm. I'm not sure it'll be back, but it, it might. Uh, it's crossed by the chariot. This look. There's some shit going on here. This is some forward movement shit. I mean, this is straight up crazy town. You know, it's it's also by the way the. Uh, from, from another deck, the reading I got for uh, my niece when she asked about Halloween and trick-or-treating. So apparently it's on. We're good. Trick-or-treating will happen. Trick-or-treat and you get some candy. It's going to be really good. But that applies here. I don't joke about anything. It's not in the energy. Trick-or-treat. You're about to get some candy here. I tell you, from an energy that uh, you got information coming at you that's going to change some things. And November is about information. It is a month we do get information, and there's judgment. Again, star of the show in the Friday reading. Some unfinished business is about to get finished. Energy that uh, maybe didn't want you before now wants you. That could be a person or an opportunity. Either way, let's get rolling. All right, let's not fuck around here. Shuffle the deck. Give me the soulmate cycle universe for the week of October 27th through November 2nd. 2024. Let's do it. Is it November 2nd? Yeah, it is November 2nd. Wow, right in the middle of that's Halloween. The veil is thin, right? All right, let's do it. Mm. Let's do it. What actions are they likely to take, the incoming energies? Let's see. Some of it will tie to the Friday reading, and some of it will be one-off. It happens that way, you know? This reading we clarify. Same thing. Split the soulmate cycle into 12 pieces, right? No problem. Just text at the top of the description to explain why there's no timestamps here. I know everybody here on YouTube custom the timestamps. It's not how energy works. It's not how a cycle works. I'm sorry. It isn't. All right. All right. Here we go. I've been shuffling for a while, so you know if I put a little spigot in there, that's why. Put a little snip, snip. Nobody need to sit through 20 minutes of shuffling. Sometimes you have to. I'm just glad we got rid of that eight of wands. Oh, it'll be back, won't it? No, I hope not. I don't... Eh, fuck. I don't know. I don't want it there. I know you do. You want communication. I don't feel like the energy's right for it. I don't feel like it is. I, I, maybe it's just me. I don't know. I feel like if, if you're out there going, hey, this would be a good time to talk to Steve. No, it wouldn't. I'm in kind of a cantankerous mood this week. You might want to stay steer clear. <laughs> you know, that's all I'm saying. I, I don't let it team... I'm, but I'm just allowing it to... That's part of the energy. You know, the energy is a bit cantankerous. It really is. What's that mean? Eh, honorary, you know, kind of a thing like that. Um, could be a stubborn energy there, too. Nine of Pentacles. Overall energy of this reading, nine Pentacles crossed by two wands. It's nice. It's nice. It's a very liberating feeling. It really is. It's very nice. Let's go deeper. Eight of Pentacles. Um, Things that someone attached to you has tried to avoid are no longer avoidable. Okay? That could apply to you, too. Keep that in mind. Some things you've tried to avoid are no longer avoidable. we got a lot of karmic debt being called in. We do. Mm -hmm. I, I wrote about that in my November write-up. I think I mentioned it. It's, it's a lot. There's a lot being collected. Okay. Let's go. Our story begins with Aries, position 1, ends with Pisces, position 12. We're going to clarify what actions they're likely to take. So far, we got nothing but action here. All right. Wow. What's, what's going on, position 1? Generally for everybody, it bookends position 4 and ties to our overall energy pretty closely. Three swords. It is the card that ends the separation phase of the soulmate cycle. The most important one. It shows me how much love somebody has. How much love there is in a connection you have with somebody. There's a lot. You don't get three swords out of somebody you don't love. Right? Some prick at the grocery store thinks they don't like my shoes or don't like that I cut in line. I don't care. I don't go home with three swords. Right? Oh, no. Oh, God. You know? No. I don't know that person. Fuck them. Right? It's the end of the day. This is not somebody 
that you would say fuck them to. Well, they certainly wouldn't say fuck them to you. Why is the three swords here? Hmm? Somebody. This is probably what's been unavoidable. There's three swords in the room. There's an elephant in the room. We need to talk about it. All right, we do. Let's go. Tell me about this here. It's crossed by the seven of pentacles. Hmm. The ener what did I just say? Rewind. I said this is probably the energy that we can't avoid that we're now dealing with. This is probably it. I'm sorry about that. My microphone. Hold on a minute. Let me fix it. My, my beard's going to scratch the microphone here. I got a sweatshirt on today that's got one of those. It's not a zipper one. It's got the, you know, it's just a regular throwover one. And it's putting the microphone a little high, if you will. Um, I'll try to keep my head up. Uh, the uh, Seven of Pentacles is talking about the divine timing. The energy is right now to deal with this three swords. We don't have any choice. All right. All right. What's going on on top? The Hermit. Hmm. Somebody's given this a lot of thought. Whatever this is between you and somebody, I don't know what it is. It's going to be different for all of you. I assume you're not dealing with the same person. Pretty awkward if you are. God. Uh, it's, it's something they've given a great deal. Somebody's figured something out about this. Why is the Hermit here? The Seven Swords. Somebody's seen where they went wrong. Somebody has seen where they went wrong. Somebody wants to admit they lied to you. I'm just riffing on the energy. Take it as it resonates. Either somebody saw where they went wrong. Somebody sees. I know. I, I got done. I just got done talking about the unavoidable. Now we deal with it, right? This week. This is sneaky deaky in a way. Somebody snuck away from a very powerful connection, and and they're not going to be able to hide from this connection anymore. All right. But neither are you on some level. It's just backing up every fucking word that's come out of my mouth since this. You know, it's right there. You can even see it. So, take it as it resonates, but this is good news. I mean, if you like that Eight of Wands we opened with, pfft, there you go. It's communication for sure. I can't say for sure because I can't predict free will, but you know what I mean. right? Alright. Never take me literally. Just catch my drift. And we'll always be friends. We'll be just fine. Alright. Taurus, position two. Well, it's ten swords, isn't it? Seems bad, doesn't it? I mean, I, I, I'm not going to rainbow unicorn it up. That's for damn sure. That poor bison's having a rough day. Well, look on the bright side, buddy. At least you don't have to pay taxes anymore. I mean, I, I mean, I don't know how to rainbow unicorn up the ten swords. I don't know what to tell you. Um... Seems cruel to say this. Somebody wishes you were gone. Somebody's coming to tell you that. I think they are. I think somebody's coming to tell you that. Or make it, or I don't joke about anything. It's not the energy. Make Try to make you feel better about the fact it's over. If somebody shows up and tries to make you feel better about something they did, in other words, they break up with you, just, just catch my drift. Someone, I have to try to translate this energy. Someone breaks up with you, right? They run from you, whatever. They break up with you. They put ten swords in you. Then they show up to try to make you feel better about something they did. When in reality, they're only doing that, and I'm telling you this, the only reason anybody would do that is because they feel bad about it and they're not man or woman enough to tell you that they made a mistake. Okay? Low vibrational people do not admit when they did something wrong. And I may have said something similar to that in, in, on Friday about this position. All right. I mean, I could stand here all I want and tell this little dead bison or person, hey, you got the bright side, at least you don't have to pay taxes anymore, right? Woohoo! Right? That doesn't change the fact there's still ten swords in the motherfucker. Okay? Why is ten swords here? A lot of good that does me. Well, true. <laughs> all right. Why well, is the Ten of Swords here? That's the best way I can translate the energy for you. All right? It's my job. It's what I try to do. I do it the way I do it. So somebody... Somebody's probably going to show up. There's communication attached to this, and they're going to try to make you feel better about something that they did, but they're really only showing up because they feel bad. Right? And, and proof? You want proof? Fine. Here's justice. You may, have, you may have thought this was over and done. You might have signed the divorce papers with this person, for example. Ink's been dry a long time on this, whatever it is. The ink's been dry a long time on this, whatever it is. Environmental energy around this Ten of Swords, though, is somebody 
wanting to make themselves feel better about something that they did. Alright. Alright. What's on top? The King of Swords. They can't live with the guilt. They can't sit with the, the truth of what they did. They can't deal with it. Alright. This is like the world's worst hitman. It really is. He gonna he gonna get hired to take somebody out. And then after, he going to feel so bad about it, he going to go to the family and try to console them. This is, the, this is the same type of energy where you see it all the time as a premise on like FBI TV shows and stuff like that, where they're looking for a serial killer, but it turns out the whole time the serial killer was helping them solve the case. You follow? Right? This is that same type of energy. Oh, fuck you. Right? All right, here we go. I'm going to eject myself into the investigation. Okay. Right. Uh, the King of Swords. Why is it here? Yeah, the Seven of Wands. Somebody can't not. Somebody can't stop this, the truth from coming in. They can't keep the truth at bay. Okay, everything I've said is valid. I don't need to say anymore. It is what it is. Take it as it resonates with you. But you catch my drift. That's all you got to do. If you don't catch my drift, rewind. Watch what I said again. Something in there will make sense to you. All right, Gemini, position three, three of pentacles. I love doing these readings. I love the weekly reading because it just takes the energy and just, yeah, it chops it up. Okay. Um, well, I'm going to tell you it's reversed energy. They don't come out of my deck reversed, but I do, I do read them reversed if the energy's reversed. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just turn that around. Okay. Oh, well, I won't because then somebody will say, oh, that was, somebody went to go get a soda, right? They paused the video, but it's right here. Oh, I, I deal with this shit all the time. Somebody went to go get a soda. They pause the video. They come back and they're not paying attention because they click in the can on their soda. And then all of a sudden that's turned and they go, oh, he pulled some funny business, right? Bunch of that shit. No funny business here. Okay. It's, it's upside down. If you don't trust me, you should not be here. All right? Or at least just look at it as entertainment purposes only. One or the other. All right. Three of Pentacles. Reversed. Somebody's starting. Uh, somebody is headed towards you to build something new. They want something. But there's something. It's like building. They're coming with sand to build a foundation. Okay? I don't know what it means. I don't know what it means. I don't remember what you got yesterday. Was it bullshit in some way? Okay, there's something here. It, they're coming to build a house, and I say go pick up the foundation, right? I, I assume because they're a carpenter, they know, or, or a construction worker, they know I mean some concrete and some rebar, but they show up with a bag of sand, all right? Somebody's coming here to come coming towards you under some sort of false notion or something to build something. Oh, yeah, it's communication. There's communication all over this motherfucking reading. Well, the pre-shuffle did start with eight wands. That doesn't surprise me. Okay, why is this here? Yeah, but it won't stay. It won't stay up. It's an ace of wands, but this is a card that, where the, the energy blows out, right? It, it's like lighting a match in the wind. It blows out. So it, it gets built, and then it falls down. Why? Yeah, eight of swords. Um, I'm making this. I don't know what's here. I make a look, right? What right here is, is wrong. They're, they're messed up. Somebody here is fucked up. This person is fucked up. Okay? They are fucking mess. Fine. Can I just say it? I know you love this person. Good for you. But you can't help people in eight swords. It's a little like that comedian, Ron White. He says you can't fix stupid. Right? You can't. You can, he also calls himself tater salad. But you can't fix stupid. This, I'm not saying your person's stupid. I'm saying you can't fix fucked up. Messed up. They need to get something straight themselves. All right, whatever it is, you listen to this. This is an energy of somebody who's listened to too many people and they've got themselves pulling in nine different directions. It's like somebody who goes for advice and they go to advice to too many people. You can't do that. You can't go to advice to too many people. You can't watch too many fucking tarot readings. You can't go to too many sources for too many things. You just, it's too many, it's too much. Eventually, you don't even know where you are in all of it. And, eh. All right. That's what you got here. Somebody needs to help them. You can't help this person. So when they show up, just be nice. Why is the Eight of Swords here? Six of Swords. Uh, again, 
Somebody's coming to build a foundation with you. They want to be friends. They want to be lovers. They want to do something. They want to build a business with you or something like that. I don't know. But just give it a pass. You can't fix this. You can't help people like this. I can't. All I can do for someone like this, and I get them here, I get them offline. People, people just tell me shit. They want to talk to me. They, I look like somebody, I feel like somebody that can help them, and I probably can, but not like this. All you can do in this, when someone's in this, is plant a seed. The way you do that here is to be nice, but say, excuse me, we can't build this house on with the sand foundation. You're gonna to have to go back to the store and get some concrete and rebar, all right? This person here, very, very shaky. Very shaky. Uh, okay. Uh, cancer, position four. And I don't know who this is. There's no name tags on the energy, but I would give it a pass. Even if they're the smoking hot, right? And you know me. You know how I feel about redheads. Even if this was a smoking hot redhead, pants half down, I'd say, do you want a towel? You know, I'd be like, I gotta go. You know, all right. I would give that a pass. Cancer. The hot spot of the connection cycle, slice number four, book ends over here. It's communication. Had to be. If this wasn't communication, because this is, if this wasn't communication, we'd have a problem. It is. It's a knight of swords. It's a fucking card of communication. Someone here who's got a notion, who's got something they want to say, something they want to take care of, I think this energy in particular wants to admit something that they lied about or something they didn't tell you or clear up a false notion you have about them or about their connection with them or something. Is This is greatly tied to fixing this Seven of Swords. Okay? Fine. Let them try. I, good intentions here. Alright? The, the intentions are good. The road to hell is paved with good intentions, they say. I don't get that here. I, I don't get a devil. I don't feel a devil. Watch me get egg on my face, right? You think a devil will come out now that I said that? I don't feel a devil. All right? It might. If a devil comes out, all right? If a devil comes out, yeah, you know what I'm going to say. My ass will come up on the screen. I will take a crap right on the table. Ass will pull out. Okay? If a devil comes out, I'll shuffle right here. All right, we ain't going to fuck around. All right, there we go. Bottom of the deck. Seven of Pentacles. Isn't that amazing? Isn't that a coinky dink? Right? I'm not even reaching for my waistband. I ain't the least bit worried. Right? Seven Pentacles. Why is that a coinky dink? Because this, this bookends these, and this was crossing over here, wasn't it? Mm. Yeah. So, so this definitely ties to what I said. Everything I said, 100% spot on. Nope. Knight of Pentacles. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? Oh. Oh, uh oh, uh oh, nah, I ain't reaching for my waistband, but it is a card you'll want to see. It's a card I said, oh God, is it going to come back? Oh, I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Well, here it is. The Eight of Wands has to be. Total communication here. Look, this is the week. This is the big one, Lamont. This is it. Right? Fred Sanford. If you don't remember Fred Sanford, fuck you. Right? Red Fox was great. He was way ahead of his time. He's a dirty bastard in the 1950s, let me tell you. Oh, people were shocked. They're like, oh my God. Right? Um, mm, I mean, something. This, been a, this is a talk. This is a conversation. This, I said, it's old business. Things that have been avoided, that we've been avoiding, we can't avoid anymore. This has been a long time coming. Why? Because this father, this motherfucker had a racehorse and they walked. It's been a long time coming. If this guy shows up at my place, I'm going to say, where have you been? Oh, well, I walked here. Well, you walked? Why? Why didn't you ride dog food over there? What the fuck? You rescued him from fucking Alpo. Go. Get on the fucking horse. Come on. I mean, it's right there. Hey, I would rescue all the horses if I could. But at the end of the day... This is a communication that's been a long time coming. All right? Somebody should have gotten on Alpo a long fucking time ago. Mm. And it applies in your life, too, not necessarily here. There's something else that's been avoided that's been a long time coming. That gets some forward movement this week. I feel it is a good thing. I don't feel, again, I don't have a devil. You see my ass on the table? You see any turds here? You don't. What's, oh, you might be, well, Steve, you're just going to shuffle it away, but was the devil there? Nope. Nope. 
Nope. Nope. One more? Five cards? Nope. I told you. I don't feel the devil. Alright? It's not there. Not in this anyway. He here somewhere. He's always here. This is nice. Alright? The devil lives in the tertiary in this reading. It lives in the back of this person's mind. It lives in whoever's talking to this fucker. Mm. All right. I can tell you that. Get this all the time. Listen, just take this as a piece of advice from me, okay? Especially if you're one of my younger viewers. Your best friend does not, give a fuck, does not want you to find the love of your life and the greatest job. Stop going to other people. Stop looking out. Start looking in. Be your own best friend. November is going to teach us that. Pluto and Aquarius is going to teach us that. For God's sake, learn it. I'm asking so many people wrapped up in this shit. Do it. You get, you are so, so many people don't want to be controlled, yet they're so fucking controlled by people around them so subtly they don't even realize it. It's unreal. It's almost hypocritical in a way. All right, Leo, position five. It's Leo soap opera. I didn't write down what you got yesterday. I don't know. It's five pentacles. Yeah, somebody, what actions they going to take? I don't know. Somebody going to do something stupid this week. That's my read. Well, five of pentacles. Somebody feels left out. Somebody missed out. Somebody made a bad investment. You know, you could look at it that way, right? Somebody, the energy coming off of this is somebody's going to do something stupid this week. And they're going to realize it very quickly. Okay? I don't know what. It's probably in relation to you. Maybe they reach out. Maybe that proves stupid. Right? Just like I said, I don't joke about anything that's not in the energy. I said at the beginning of this reading, oh, you, if you're thinking this is a good week to talk to Steve, I'm just warning you in advance. I'm a cantankerous motherfucker this week. It was a bad week. It's a bad week to give me a backhanded compliment. I'll tell you what. I don't know why. It's just the energy that's around me right now. I hulk up during Scorpio season, you know? And sometimes that energy can get a little crazy. You know? It is what it is. It's not here. It's not part of this reading. But this person here, maybe they come and talk to you and it's not your week either. I don't know. Either way, somebody going to do something stupid this week. We're going to read it that way. So far, this has been a great week for communication. I think, you know, more proof that my energy isn't part of this. I'm in a kestrel field watching those little guys hunt like I used to when I was a kid. Ah, they were great. All right, here we go. Five of Pentacles. Somebody going to do something stupid this week. I said that, right? Did I say it? Yeah. It's crossed by the Knight of Wands. Well, stupid. well, look at the fucking picture. Right? The horse is loose in the yard. Something, she put a cigarette out on somebody's fucking bongo. I, these are exp that's an expensive drum. These are usually handmade. They're not cheap. Okay? I mean, somebody's doing something stupid. Somebody's acting the fool. All right, somebody acting the fool. Okay. This person, the Leo soap opera person that's in the toxic situation that we pull on, your person in the Leo soap opera, well, hopefully this isn't you because roles can be reversed. Nine of Cups. Somebody falling for a bill of goods. You ever heard that? Falling for a bill of goods, right? Somebody sells you something. <laughs> friend of mine, friend of mine is a landlord. He owns a couple of buildings, right? He, he ran this. Sometimes he runs people by me. He said, I got these tenants. They want to move in. They seem really great. They're recommended by the person that's moving out. First of all, red flag. Okay? Red flag right there. That person just wants to leave and get their friends in there. Secondly, so they're recommended by the, by the, by the person that's moving out. And they, while, they, while we like to keep it a kid-free building, they, got the, they, they do have a kid. But it's apparently a very quiet kid that just sits in the corner and reads all day. Yeah, that's what they said. It's a parent. And we're not having any more children. Mm -hmm. That's what they said. I told my friend, I said, I guarantee you, I've never heard of a kid that just sits in a corner quietly in an upstairs unit and doesn't make any noise. And secondly, I will bet you a million dollars that within three years' time, there's at least two more of those little critters running around. I guarantee it. Right? People will lie. They'll say anything to get into an apartment or into a job. People lie. Get a car they can't afford. Get a house they can't afford. They lie. They're fucking liars. We've learned that as far. If you have a friend that's a doctor, it's the first thing they'll tell you. People lie. What should I know about people? They lie. Right? They do. 
They're fucking liars. This person here is falling for a bill of goods and they're about to, it's about to bite them in the fucking ass. Ten of Pentacles. <laughs> oh. oh, I don't know. The just, this energy, whoever this person is, I can't spend all day on it. It's not a fucking Leo reading. But whoever this person is, I don't tell you stories or joke about anything that isn't part of the energy. Whoever this person is, they are easily swayed by shiny objects okay easily swayed by shiny objects the moment they have trouble in their for example just catch my drift the moment they have trouble in their toxic relationship the other person the one I called little Lord fuck with the entitled Burger King asshole that they happen to be with that's part of the toxin or if it's a family or whatever the other person the minute there's trouble the other person buys them something nice or you know says well let's Let's, let's move. Let's go on a trip. Maybe that'll make things better, right? It's all just little band-aids. They fall for the band-aids. And somebody's about to realize that they made a huge mistake on something. There's some sort of big purchase. It could be an emotional purchase. It could be a physical purchase. But somebody's going to fall, fall hard from this one, okay? And they will. Mm, okay. It is what it is. Um, I think this person needs to learn the concept that people lie. It's what they do. Okay, Virgo, position six, my wild card. You guys could show up here, and I harp on that because, uh, oh, as with Cancer, there's a lot more people that should be watching the Leo soap opera. A lot of you have a runner that's in a uh, or soulmates that are in toxic situations that you they'd be better off with you, or at least you've tried to get them out of it. There's a lot of that. This person here, fucking hell, King of Swords here in the Virgo position. Um, this is you, but you're, you're the seeker of truth this week. You're open to the truth. You want it, okay? You get the truth that's been hidden. Because you want it, you got it, right? You want it, you got it, Toyota. Um, you want it, you got it this week. So be careful. Make sure you really want it. This king doesn't just tell the truth. He summons it, right? The energy's there. He could dial right into it. Get you to tell them the truth. It's the human lie detector. I often come up in polls as the king of swords. You know, see right through you. Look at that. And that is a double-edged sword. As many of you know, many of my viewers are people of very high vibration. You know. People, you, people are afraid. You know, they back off. Oh, I don't wanna. People shut down. I get more people that shut down around me for example, then open up. The ones that open up spill their guts. I mean, it's like, oh my God, okay. I mean, I should wear a shirt that says TMI on it when I go to a, a party or something. But I mean, you know, although there's no in between this week for you, is what I'm saying. They're either completely shut down, you, you get nothing from them, which tells you a lot, right? Tells you a lot. That, there's, that, that tells you there's things that they haven't faced and all of that. Or you get too much. You get everything. And you may need to process it. Either way, this is the card that came up. I wrote it down. It came up in the Aquarius position, which is where you guys showed up in the Friday reading. There it is. Here. Crossing this. Proof of what I just said that this is you. Proof of everything I just said. Alright? You're very powerful this week. You can have the truth. Make sure you want it. And remember, if you want the truth from somebody and they don't give it to you, that tells you as much as if they do. Alright? It really does. You can learn a lot about a person from just fucking paying attention. You're going to see right through even the subtle things, even the passive aggressive things. Okay? And I'm harping on it because this is you guys. It's the majority of you. I want people to be smarter. I'm, I want people to pay more attention. That's all you got to do. It's very simple. Everybody around you, you, you'll end up in this energy a lot less if you just pay attention more to, to pe what people are doing and the subtle little things, right? Eight of Pentacles. Um, things that you normally wouldn't notice, you notice. It's what I just said. That Eight of Pentacles ties to this Eight of, eight of Pentacles where th something that's unavoidable is, is there or something that's usually something that, that you don't notice is there as well. It can play out that way too. Why is the Eight of Pentacles here? The Ace of Swords, see? You learn a lot from things you maybe never noticed before or things you avoided before. Okay? Pay attention to what I said to you there. It's very important. All right. Okay. Um, 
Libra, position seven. Uh, Wheel of Fortune. Wow, that's nice. Um, I don't know. I don't want to say anything negative. It's been a very positive reading for the most part, except for this fucker and maybe this one. Um, your opinion of somebody is about to change. I'll flip it and just say it that way. All right. Fine. Um, why is the Wheel of Fortune here? This happens all the time. All right. Probably, why, you might say, well, why is that, Steve? Okay. And yeah, you do sound like that. How about that? Uh, because of what I said here. Were you listening to what I said here at all? Right? I mean, people show you who they are. It's just most people don't fucking listen. Okay? All right. You're about to see the truth about somebody's temperance. Just when someone's talking to you, be my mechanic angel. There's a lot of communication this week. There's an opportunity to learn about everybody around you, right? You know, there's yes, there's that line I like to quote from Jackie Chan in Rush Hour where he says, I like to let people talk. It lets me see how full of shit they are. But that's what every police officer follows. Police officers are trained to say something, ask a question, and shut up. Why? Because people will talk themselves into a fucking hole, right into a fucking jail cell. It is amazing because they're nervous, right? They're nervous. Oh my God, it's a cop. I don't want to say too much. I don't want to say too little. I don't want them to suspect anything. I don't want to just just tell. Yes, where you live. Just tell them where you live and shut the fuck up, right? Somebody be this person. When people are talking to you, be my mechanic angel on a break. You can go up to my mechanic angel, and that's who this is. He looks just like this while he's on his smoke break, and ask him about your car. And it's like, it's like you're not even talking to anybody. It's like he's not even there. He, he hears you, but not really. It's that kind of thing. Take in the information, okay? Just take in the information without, with very, as little response from you as possible, all right? And you will see someone, your opinion of somebody is going to change. Probably because their opinion of you changed in some way, because that's what it says here. Two of Cups. Yeah. You got communication coming. Something makes sense to you about a person because of a communication you have with them, okay? Trust that. Trust it. Don't question it. All right? All right. It is what it is. The Two of Cups. The Five of Cups. Mm. Um, yeah. It, it, is a little bit of, it is a little bit bittersweet. It's bittersweet. In a way, it causes you to not like somebody anymore, but also it's good to know the truth. The Two Cups still standing. Right? Everything I just said just got backed up. We do this all the time with people. We let the myth of a person blind us. Right? I mean, do what you want to do. But at the end of the day, be careful. All right. Position eight. My hot Scorpios. Hmm. I wrote down, you had the seven of wands yesterday. Oh, I wrote it down. And I wrote down the judgment card that Sagittarius had. Four of cups. Hmm. Shut it down. That's what I said. What actions is somebody going to... Somebody's going to come towards you this week when you don't care whether they do. It is, it's what I've taught you from day fucking one. My own words, my own way of phrasing it, no hocus pocus. You want it? You can have it. All things come to those who don't give a shit whether they get them or not. You manifest it, you put it out there to the universe, and you let it go. You forget about it. You don't dwell on it. You don't think about it. You don't keep asking the waitress, where's my spaghetti? That is a surefire way to get spit in your food. I will tell you that. She's going to go back because everybody in that kitchen wants to bang that waitress. The waitress is going to go back into the kitchen and she's going to say, oh, that person on table seven, they keep asking about their spaghetti. And the chef's going to be like, really? Is he bothering you? Yeah? There you go. There's your fucking spaghetti. Right? Honest to let it go. There's somebody you're focused on too much. The moment you let it go, I can't tell you who it is, only you know. The moment you let it go, they show the motherfuck up. Alright. Alright. Why is the four of cups here? It's just what it is. It's just what it is. I hope my beard isn't scratching the microphone. If it is, if you hear a it's my beard. I apologize. I won't wear this sweatshirt again when I do readings. Alright. Here we go. I'm too lazy to take it off right now. You just have to deal with the beard scrapes. Hey, it's a free reading. You know, you get what you get. Alright, here we go. 
four cups. All right, here we go. Ah, it's crossed by the fool. Everything I just said just got backed up. Okay, and but I was gonna say this while I was shuffling. I wish I had. I'd have looked really cool, right? But I'm gonna say it now. By letting this go, I think if you can have a conversation with whoever this is who's afraid to come towards you because your energy, you're focused on them a bit too much. I think you might find that it's it's a fruitful conversation that leads somewhere, right? I think you might. What's on top? The ten of wands. Yeah. Um. Wow. Well, Tens of the end and dead end lead to a new beginning. Why is that here? Three swords. Yeah. It's okay. So you're probably like it's hard not to think about this person. There's there's something here that needs to be resolved. There's something here. You have unfinished business. I think I said this in the Friday reading. Unfinished karmic business with this person. The Three of Swords also shows up here in the beginning of our story. It's time to resolve it. But the, this person, whoever this is, and I think any, I think this is all of you because this was a, a card that pertained to a good number of you in the Friday reading. They can't come towards you until you, you let it go. So you can, you can resolve this. There's a lot of tension you have with whoever this is. There's a lot of tension built up and, and it could be for some of you, you don't even know this person but they're, they're tense about you and your, your, you know, again, you're wondering why, why am I always focused on this person at work? Why is it every time I see them, I snicker and all that kind of stuff? There's some conversation. You have some karma with that person. But for most of you, this is someone who you're focused on too much. You know, a runner, a soulmate, someone who left you, someone who hurt you, family member you have a soul connection with, whatever it is. Let it go. The moment you don't give a shit about any of this, that's the moment you get to finally resolve it. They won't come towards you. There's some sort of barrier here. Um, there is. You thinking about it creates quite a barrier. Okay? Alright. Uh, try not to feel this either. Try to um, get yourself out in nature. It's a good way to release this type of energy. Okay? Even if, it, if you can't, find it in your mind. Like my Kestrel field that I'm here when, I, when I'm at when I'm doing these readings. Alright, Sexitarius. Holder of the judgment card the other day. Something's coming back. And you've got to trust your instincts about it. I, that's what I wrote down. It was about for you. The Two of Swords. Yeah. Um, we're, about a, we're at a bit of a crossroads here. This is a crossroads energy. This is a stalemate. Why? What's going on? Why is the Two of Swords here? What's going on? Temperance. If you get in your head too much about whatever this is that's returning, there's something happening. Something's going to happen this week. Again, I'm not a fucking time lord. Could be this week, could be next week, could be the week after. Might have happened last week. Okay? I don't know. But I have to give the universe some kind of parameter of what energy to pull in. So I'm pulling that energy. The energy of that would be the baseline energy for the week of the 27th through November 2nd. All right? Even the bird going crazy right now in the background. He finished his breakfast, apparently. Um, be this. Pay attention to what I said over here and over here. Okay? Both of these. Pay attention. What's on top? Death card. Something very big. Why is death here? The Queen of Swords. Again, sword in the sheath here. Right. This is... Um, Something, an opportunity is returning, either with a person or it's an opportunity. Whatever it is, it's something you dare not let yourself get too emotional about. You dare not let yourself think about it or get excited about it. Okay? Your shit is happening. Okay? And, you don't, and if you overthink it, you're fucked. You're going to leave yourself stuck. So just roll with it. Right? Roll with the changes. Roll with the punches. Whatever it is. Be this. Just be cool. Alright? That's all I can say. It's a big deal. This is something big. This is like moving. This is like a, a change in job. This is like uh, a person that you, you always wanted a second crack at. I mean, I don't know, but it's huge. The death card is here. It's huge. Okay. Wow. Whoa. Okay. Uh, ten of... Position ten. Ten of what? Ten of what? No, it's a strength card. Capricorn, position ten. Um... You have an empowering... There's a lot of communication in this reading. It kind of pisses me off. I won't put it in the title because I don't like clickbait. Okay? I like that there's communication here, but I know I can't predict free will and some of these runners are going to fuck me. 
Some of these DMs are going to fuck me clean up the ass and not communicate. Ah, just you know, Steve said communication, so fuck it. I ain't going to do it. Okay. Fine. But I can't predict free will anyway. But the energy is here. All right. I still don't think, I'm going to be honest with you, I don't think it's the ideal time to have a conversation. And the reason I don't showed up in this reading. I, you know, I said that at the beginning, right? And I said, you know, maybe it's a bad time to talk to me, blah, blah, blah. We do have a lot of communication showing up. I said it because of this. Here, I say that again because of this. It showed up in the reading. I don't think it's the right time because you're going to see through people's illusions. You're going to see through the veil. The veil is thin anyway. We're coming up on ha All Hallows' Eve. But you're going to see through people. And I can tell you, being someone who sees through people, it's not a great thing. You've got to temper yourself. Again, temperance came out a couple of times, right? Came out here, came out here. you got to temper yourself because it's kind of sad what you see. People are wearing a lot of masks. We're falling for people's, the myth of a person and letting them, letting them lie to us and letting them get away with stuff. We do it all the time. You're not falling for any myths here. You're rising above a lot of things. I got a silverfish here. Where's it? Come on. Come on, little buddy. What the hell is a silverfish doing here? Come on. Hold on. He's on he's on my wall in front of me. Come on. Oh, he's a crafty little son of a bitch. All right. We'll climb the wall then. Okay. Anyway, um, so it's it's tricky because you're gonna see through people. Alright, here we go. And what did I say? Look at that. Boom. Temperance. Pay attention to what I just said. It's important. It's very important. Don't ever fall. I always, I make a point to always tell people. Because when I first came here, there was some people that, you know, really kind of, that everyone went crazy for the channel. I always make a point to let people know I'm not the warlock on the hill. I make mistakes. If I get egg on my face, I want you to see it if I make a mistake or something like that. That, what you just saw right there, is not a mistake. No card tricks. This ain't no pen and teller. You've got to have that. You're, this is a tough week. While there's communication, it's a tough time for some of you to have it. Because you're going to see people for who they really are. So try to maintain some temperance here. What's on top? The moon and the page of swords. You're getting to see things that have been unseen. You're getting to see things that have been hidden. You're getting a look, a spy's eye view of things that have been hidden. Right? And it can be a little disappointing. These cards fell backing up every word I've said to you. It is. It can be. It's not a great time. I said at the beginning of this reading, there's a lot of communication here. We open with the Eight of Wands. Woohoo! I'd love to tell you it's a good time for it, but I don't think it is. I have to be honest. Well, it is a good time. The energy is right. The timing is there. The divine timing is there. But, it, but, you, but with the power of the King of Swords that you have and seeing through people, it's tricky. It, it hurts sometimes. See, as I always tell you all the time, because I'm, I'm a guy who's met a lot of his heroes, you know? Don't meet your heroes. Of the ten or so that I've met, only two haven't, only two didn't let me down. Eight of them were complete fucking wasteoids where I just think, why the fuck did I ever, you know, what the fuck was I thinking, you know? Um, it's, it's, it's a bit of that. It's tough. Tough to be able to see through people, see through the illusions. All right, all right. Anyway, don't fall for the myth of anyone. Okay. Mm. All right. It's an important month here. Mm. Position eleven, Aquarius, the world, most powerful card I can pull. Mm. Um. It's. I mean, it, it is what it is. It's the world. Something about this week changes everything for you. This is you guys showing up again. It's tied to this. It's tied to everything I've been talking about right here. It's tied to it all. Everything. This is a really important reading. There's some things here within this energy that make you very powerful. There's, a, there's something, everything, this is the week where everything changes. Now again, I'm not a time lord. It might happen next week. Could have happened last week. But this is a very important time. Why? Why is the world here? Hmm? Justice. Very powerful card. Justice crossing the world is fucking incredible. And we're at a moment of reckoning. We're at a moment of reckoning in societal energies. 
I mean, you know, I mean, it's just, it is what it is. It's hard not to talk about it. I don't want to, but it shows up in the energy. This is, this is a week that leads up to a historical moment, a moment that people will be reading about for 50, 60, 100 years from now in the history books. Are they going to say, what the hell were they thinking? Or are they going to say, oh, look at that. They resolved the energy, right? I mean, does it end in shame or does it end in something that's, that's fantastic or at least some hope of fixing some things? I don't know. I don't, it's not my place to tell you which is which. Some things, some people are going to disappoint you. Some things you're going to see. You've got to embody this King of Swords. There's a lot of important shit happening right now. We're entering a whole new phase. Okay? A whole new phase. It is what it is. Make your decisions. Make sure they're informed decisions about the people in your life. I'm not even talking about political shit. I mean the people in your life. Informed decisions. You have the opportunity to make informed decisions about who your friends with, who your lovers are, who you associate with, who you let close to you within your family. Maybe some of those relationships are toxic. I don't know. The tower. Everything changes here. I mean, you want proof? The world, justice, and the tower is coming out for you. Those are all major arcana. This is a big deal right now. This is not some bullshit. You know? There are things... Be it in your life or whatever, there are consequences. There are things that will have to be cleaned up if we make the wrong decisions right now. And I'm not anybody who can influence anybody, and I'm not trying to. I'm just trying to tell you, make sure you're informed. These are, these, this is a big deal. It's a huge deal. Why is the tower here? Strength. All fucking major arcana. I pull on you, it's all major arcana. You've got to have the strength to see through things. You've got to open your heart chakra. Opening your heart chakra is the secret to activating this energy for sure. Pay attention to what I said here, here, here. Pay attention to this whole reading. I'm going to get to Pisces in a minute. But this is very important. Okay? Right here. Um, position 12. Ace of Wands. Yeah. you got a new beginning coming with somebody. There's a new beginning coming. I think it's short-lived. I think you have a conversation with somebody that you've wanted to have a conversation with for a long time, and I think it just peters out. I don't think it goes anywhere. I actually pick up some banging here. You may actually end up, you know, banging that person, but I don't think, I don't think it goes anywhere. I, and I think that's your decision to blow out the match. I do. That's what I think. You know, knight of, so, knight of swords crossing. You know, somebody showing back up. And you have a conversation with somebody that you've wanted to have for a long time. There's your devil. There he is. I knew he I said he's here. He's tertiary though. But it is. There it is. There's the devil. And there's the four of cups. There's disappointment. Sometimes we want something so bad. You want it so bad. Oh, I want that person. I want that person. I love that person. You're falling for the myth. This is the myth I keep talking about. You know, I mean, it's whether it's people in your life or out in societal energies. Never fall for the myth. Do your own research. It allows you to see through it. All right. Pay attention to people's actions and things like that. This is an energy here. It's hot. I get some bang in here. Someone you've wanted for a very long time. You finally get it. And I think it's you. There's the four cups. You who blow out the match. Blow out the fire. That's what I think. Incoming, though. It's fine. Sometimes in life, that's how we learn. There are some disappointments here when we see situations and people for what they really are. But if you're a high vibrational person, you don't let this stop you from doing what you got to do. Right? Okay. All right. Here we go. Let's, have, let's add it up. I'll grab the witches. Let's add it all up. Three cards and a bottom card. Let's see where we go. Let's see where we're at. Three of Pentacles. We got a chance to rebuild here this week. High Priestess. Judgment. There it is again. Just like in the Friday reading. And the Queen of Pentacles. Uh, it's a powerful week. Judgment don't come out for a bang in a bar parking lot. We have old business coming back with somebody. And it's been dormant for quite a while. Uh, I think we have, a, we have the ability to resolve a lot within ourselves through interaction with another, through paying some karmic debt with another person, we have the ability to resolve a lot within ourselves. Um, 
you are in a power position most of you are the DF side of this connection you're in a power position you already have everything you need look at that ten swords yeah the out with the old in with the new you already have everything you need so somebody else somebody comes to you and communicates with you right you don't need them they need you keep that in mind it puts you in a power position right keep that in mind when you're dealing with salesmen too right they need to sell that car to eat you don't need it you can go find another car you're the one in the power position right I see it all the time with, with people dealing with people I'm just trying to help you with energy I see it all the time in fact I used to train salespeople and I used to tell them make sure you're in the power position make sure you flip it on the customer right well I'm telling you now here I am on the good side telling you you're in the power position y'all the one right um that's your reading I hope it was helpful mm, it is what it is uh, if you like this reading please like share and subscribe appreciate all the subscribers everybody who shares and everybody who watches all right, good luck